everyone! In today's video, we're going to be going through 2021 AMC 12A Prom 15. In this prom, we're told that a choir director must select a group of singers from among his six tenors and eight basses. The only requirements are that the difference between the number of tenors and basses must be a multiple of four, and the group must have at least one singer. Let n be the number of groups that could be selected. What is the remainder when n is divided by 100? So in this problem, we want to remember that we only really care about our last two digits since it's asking for when n is divided by 100. And that's something that we're going to keep in mind when working through the problem. So this is a pretty complicated casework problem. So first, we look at if the difference between the number of tenor and bases is zero. So we could either have one tenor and one base, in which case there is six choose one ways to choose tenors times eight choose one ways to choose a base. Or we could have two tenors and two bases, where there's six choose two ways to choose tenors times eight choose two ways to choose bases. And this will continue, where we have six choose three times eight choose three, plus six choose four times eight choose four, plus six choose five times eight choose five, plus six choose six times eight choose six. Now, we can evaluate all of this by hand, or you can notice that this can be expressed as 6 choose 1 times 8 choose 7 plus 6 choose 2 times 8 choose 6 so on till it's 6 choose 6 times 8 choose 2 and from here you'll notice that this is just an application of van der Maan's identity which tells us that this long expression is actually just equal to 14 choose 8 but we have to remember that we excluded the 6 choose 0 times 8 choose a case that we begin with, so we have to subtract that. And this is actually just going to be 1, so we have 14 choose 8 minus 1 in this case. Now let's move on to our next case, where we have a difference of 4 between the numbers of tenors and bases. So we could have 0 tenors and 4 bases, or we could have 1 tenor, which is 6 choose 1, and 5 bases, so on till we have actually let's just write them all out so we can have six choose two plus eight choose six six choose three times eight choose seven plus six choose four times eight choose eight or we could go the other way around where we have zero bases and four tenors or we have five tenors and one base, or we have six tenors and two bases. Now in this problem, we can similarly rearrange our expression to be six choose zero times eight choose four, plus six choose one times eight choose three, so on. We're basically, our, the sum of our two lower terms is always four. And that tells us that this expression is equal to 14 choose 4 by van der Maan's identity. Then we look at the case of 8, where the difference between the number is of tenors and bases is 8. So the only way for this to be possible is if we have all 8 tenors and no bases. So that's 8 choose 8 times 6 choose 0, which is just 1. So in total, we had 14 choose 8 from our first case. And then our, in our second case, when we had four more bases than tenors, we had 14 choose 4. And in our second case, when we had four more tenors than bases, we had 14 choose 2. And in our last case, we have 1. And sorry, I forgot to include the minus one that we subtracted up here. And when you evaluate this, it will be 4095, which has the last two digits of 95. So that will be our answer. And that's D. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and stay ready for more content.